as I was walking Simba early in the mornings and um, even though I didn't like the daily routine of things when I had my day job I kind of missed having the I need to get somewhere to I have somewhere to be part of it so I used to always wake up at 6 in the morning take a shower eat breakfast and then go to my job well here I eat breakfast first and then take a shower a little later and it's just very very leisurely whereas today I actually have to do some grocery shopping and I usually would leave that for later in the afternoon but I'm gonna be one of those people that shops in the morning because I feel like if I just get everything done in the morning I have the after afternoon to work out and to vlog and edit and whatever else it may be that I have to do I'm just really trying to change up the way that my day goes because it's turned into a routine but it's turned into a very laid-back routine and it's not helping me any all right, uh, let's let's get shopping. <laughs> when this vlog used to be called a day in the life and it's so cheesy thinking about it so cliche but I really didn't know what to title it and then I just took away the title altogether but this is the regular days that I don't have any photo things going on I have to be very domestic right so I have to go shopping and I have to take care of the house and things like that the other day I was watching a vlogger who had recently left his job he said you know self-employment isn't what he thought it was gonna be and um, I feel the same way and I'm not disappointed and I don't regret the decision that I made it's just that a lot of times you think you're gonna have all the time in the world to uh, do all these things but really um, especially when you're married or if you have a family he has kids I don't have any kids but um, you know because I have another half I, I would expect him to take care of the house if I wasn't there so while it's amazing to be self-employed sometimes yeah, the all the time that you think you're going to have you don't really have because it starts to fill up with other things so it's really important to make make a schedule make things you know where like a list of things that you have to do each day so that all of a sudden you're not just not getting your business stuff Um, I had to let me show you what 
being in your 30s looks like. I had, well, kind of. I had to buy fish oil because my left knee has been flaring up pretty bad lately. I've never injured this knee. I've never done anything to this knee. It's just, you know, when I go on my walks the next day, it's like it hurts so bad. I can't keep it bent for a long time and I can't keep it straight for a long time. Fish oil should maybe help it. Not sure because it has to do with my cartilage. But anyways, all right, I'm going to put this stuff away, have lunch, and I'll pick this up when I am preparing dinner. o'clock so it's definitely not dinner time but I do have to be somewhere at 4.15 to pick up Kelly so I want to make sure I start this now so it's ready when I come back ready to eat uh, today I am making spaghetti and meat sauce except for the spaghetti I'm using spaghetti squash uh, spaghetti squash is probably one of my favorite like what are these called gourds one of my favorite gourds um, yeah, my mom used to make this all the time, and like the greatest thing about this is like you can have like two cups of this, and it's like 50 calories or something, something even less than that. Anyways, prep time is like five minutes. I've never done this before myself, so uh, let's see how this goes. I have the oven preheating right now to 400, and it takes 45 minutes to an hour to bake. So this uh, is not going to be as extensive as the baking that I did the other day. But, um, it should be uh, fun to try new things and make. So you're supposed to cut it in half and stuff, but anyways, you'll see. Watch this. squash should be done in about 45 minutes. I'm going to do this with some ground turkey. I'll let you guys look at it when it's done. I just pulled the spaghetti squash out of the oven. And uh, yeah, the, it looks good. There's just a little gold in there. I'm not sure if that's the color it's supposed to be. But now you have to scrape it and it creates the noodles, right? So, so here is the finished product. It uh, kind of looks like spaghetti, huh? Now what sucks about this is I've been out of my house for five hours now, so this is completely cold, so I have to heat this up. I'm kind of bummed. I did taste the spaghetti squash when it was still warm, and it tasted really good, so I am excited to eat it, but I do have to heat it up. I'm going to end the vlog there, guys, and I will see you on uh, Friday, I think. I'm, I'm filming these way in advance, but anyways, I'll see you next vlog. Make sure to like it up and subscribe, and comment, hashtag vlog squad if you made it to the end. Bye!